So when Jamie arrived from Whistler, she arrived into our ICU and it was apparent that based on her CT scans as well as her clinical examination that her brain had severe dysfunction and we we're principally worried that her brain was not receiving an adequate amount of oxygen. Hence we discussed the case with the neurosurgeons on that night and we decided to undertake this type of technology to help optimize the oxygen delivery to her brain and to give it the best chance to recover. Jamie's case was the first time here in British Columbia that we've ever used this technology on a patient for, the, for this purpose. It's both Dr. Grisdo and I had spent uh, the better part of a year at the University of Cambridge learning this and studying it with the, the people who've pioneered it and so we were waiting for the correct case to come along and we had the technology made available to us in March and Jamie showed up in the first week of April. Since then, we've undertaken 37 cases of this type of monitoring. Uh, what this pressure allows us to do is precisely measure the oxygen delivery and the pressure needed for each individual patient. So it really is personalized medicine. Not everybody's the same. Some people need a higher blood pressure, some people need a lower blood pressure. And this technology really allows us to give the right blood pressure for each individual patient. We've looked at our experience over the past year and we compared that to um, the experience that we had before we implemented this technology. And before we implemented this technology, we, our patients at six months would have a 37% favorable neurologic outcome, meaning they either have a normal uh, function as we are able to measure it, or they uh, have some limitation, but they're able to take care and have a productive life in terms of taking care of their own activities of daily living. Um, since we've implemented this technology, we've gone uh, from a 37 favorable neurologic outcome to now a 60% favorable neurologic outcome at, at six months.